Today, we're going to get this point ready for a DCC Concepts Cobalt Slow Action Point Motor ready for installation. Roll the intros. <laughs> Hello YouTubers and welcome back to Channels of Junction, I'm Peter. As the title suggests today, this is going to be a very, very short video and I'm going to show you how I get my points ready for use with a DCC Concepts Cobalt IP point motor ready for slow action um, operation. Now with these Pico points, there is a spring set inside the tie bars there. I think it's what they call what they're called. So we are going to have to remove this spring to allow the point motor to be able to do all the action. Because if you don't do that, all you're going to hear is the usual click of a spring when the point is thrown. So without further ado, we're going to get down to the workbench and see what we're going to do. So we're now at the workbench, and what we're going to do is let's quickly get this point out of its plastic sleeve. Now, be responsible, please recycle your plastic and your cardboards. So what I always do is take the piece out and the plastic out, I'll pop it into my bag that's beside me and that will get recycled responsibly. So what we're looking at, guys, is, if I can get you in nice and close, as you can see, I hope you can see, there is a spring just there. Um, that actuates the points so that if you're not running point motors you can just click them into place and it will hold so this little spring there is what we need to remove so all I do is I've got a little dentist applicator here I'm just going to zoom you in a bit guys now I'm hoping that this piece here lifts up I'm not too sure if this one does or not, but we'll have a go. No, it doesn't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in right close. That way it helps me as well. This is the item, the culprit we need to remove. So all I'm going to do is literally get the point of the dentist apparatus underneath somehow. Just like that, and hopefully it should pull out. And as per the norm, I haven't got my pliers to hand, so I'm going to try and lift this bit up here, if it will allow me, without breaking the point itself. It doesn't look like I can actually get this piece off. So, what I might need to do is I might need to actually physically cut the spring, but we'll see. To try and get this little portion off here. Sorry to keep you waiting, guys. No. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna quickly pause the camera and get my little snips and we'll try and snip this one out. So I've now got a pair of needle nose pliers and we're gonna turn the point around. And we're going to try and carefully grab that piece of the spring. Come here, my little friend. And hopefully, should be able just to pull this out. Just like that. And there you go. That is the little piece that we needed to remove. Very, very, very tiny. Um, as you can see. Um, you know, that's me baby finger. And as you can see, it is very, very tiny. Apologise for the uh, cut on my finger there, guys. Do apologise. So, as you can see now, the points are now free to do whatever they want. They can go wherever they want to go. So, and that is where, obviously, if I zoom you out a bit and try and pop this over the point motor. 
So then that way, as the point motor moves, it will slowly move the point blades without that sudden click. Hope that's been of a help, guys. Like I said, guys, it is a literally a short but sweet video. But that is the way how I get my points ready for operation with a slow action point motor. Like I said, if you don't remove that spring before you install the points and tack it down, glue it down, whichever way you're going to put your points in your track down, if you don't remove that spring, you can, at my expense today, because um, I actually did this, um, I actually broke a set of my points today, so this is the replacement. So I thought before I even put it in anywhere near my track, I'm going to get that spring out. If you have already um, installed your points, try and get a pair of ladies nail scissors. They are very, very tiny, thin blades. You may be able just to get through the slits there from obviously this side and actually physically may be able to cut the spring. Uh, obviously the spring will still be there, but obviously you'll get the non-spring action for the blades hope you enjoyed this little video guys and i hope it has been a bit of a help um as again like i said i learned from my own expense this morning tried to pull the spring out with the point already laid and tacked down and the the whole point just disintegrated so always try and take the springs out of your points if you are doing dcc slow action motors before you lay it keep repeating myself um hope you enjoyed the video guys if you have please hit the like button if you've got any questions or comments on what you've just seen then please leave them down below in the comment section if you're a subscriber great big thumbs up and a great big thank you to the new subscribers that have joined me in the past few days hope you're enjoying the content so far and i hope that you enjoy future content if you're not a subscriber, that's not a problem. You can make that decision whether you want to subscribe to my channel. If you do want to subscribe, you can just hit the subscribe button down on the right-hand side. And if you want to carry on watching videos from my channel, there should be a link coming up here and here. Until the next time, guys, take care of yourselves, look after your loved ones, look after our NHS, and above all, happy modelling, and bye-bye from Chelmsford Junction.